Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a Sage Who Rises. Today, I will be doing the Sun Moon Rising of Scorpio. So, let's get to it. So, angels, what do we got for Scorpio at this time? The Ten of Pentacles did come out. And I've seen an Aries energy. So, you could have been dealing with an Aries. This could have been like a, a family member. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands to the Six of Pentacles, you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius or Taurus. Okay, but I'm saying that somebody moved to him possibly here. Okay, yeah, four wands. This could have been pertaining to like your foundation, your home. Okay, I'm saying that you're now, you could be moving in together. Ten of Cups. Yes, yeah, so you got the four wands. Ten of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I got Cancer Energy here. So you could be dealing with a Cancer. Okay, I'm definitely seeing that somebody tried to manipulate a situation here. Knight of Wands, and they moved to him possibly. And it's because that Ace of Pentacles, this person was paid. Ten of Cups, this could be an in-law for a wand. So somebody was paid to like emotionally manipulate you or this is somebody who emotionally manipulated you. Okay? I'm also saying that you could have been dealing with your twin flame. This definitely could have been somebody who you could have had the lovely life and wife. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, this had potential. But with the Knight of Wands, this is somebody who was like in and out. Okay, this is a player type energy. And with the Queen of Cups in the reverse, this is somebody who could have been, you know, taking advantage of you. Okay, this is somebody who possibly could have had you feeling insecure. Okay, and it's because this person is an emotional manipulator. And with the Nine of Swords in the reverse, I'm saying that you're healing from pain. Okay, I'm saying that somebody is also wanting to compromise something. And it's because you're healing. So somebody is like wanting to come around and it's because you're healing. Okay. With the Queen of Cups in the reverse, I'm definitely saying that somebody definitely tried to make you feel insecure. And this could have been through emotional manipulation. And with the Knight of Wands, this could have been done with coming in and out of your fucking life. Okay. Player type of energy. All right. But yeah, with the Ten of Wands in reverse, I'm saying that somebody is burnt out. I'm saying that somebody is having a wake up call. And they could be losing control. This could be a Sagittarius. We do got the Knight of Wands here. So this Sagittarius could have been your twin flame. This is definitely the person who you could have had a happy family with. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is somebody who y'all could have had potential. It's like this, this could have been like something that was given to you by the divine. It had potential. It could have grew. But because somebody was so in and out of your life, a Sagittarius, okay, it's like... <clears throat> This person did not prioritize you. Instead of prioritizing you, they made you feel insecure with coming in and out of your life. And this was some form of emotional manipulation that they was doing. I'm saying that with the nine of swords in the reverse, you're healing from pain at this time. And with the two of swords in reverse, somebody is now wanting to compromise. And it's because they're seeing the reality of a situation. And it's the unsettling the truth. Yeah, four of wands that you are their fucking twin flame. Ten of cups. That they would have had a good partnership with you. Ace of Pentacles. Y'all partnership had potential. But with the Knight of Wands, this person was, you know, too in and out of your motherfucking life. Like an energizer buddy. Okay. This is somebody who caused a lot of challenges as well. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Wanted you to feel insecure. And it's like, if they did not want you to feel insecure, they made you feel insecure by coming in and out of your life. And now you're healing from that pain. And somebody could be feeling ashamed. Yeah, and wanting to compromise something with you now. And this is like some type of form of relief for this person. And it's because they want to force some type of conclusion. Yeah, ten of wands in reverse. It's because they're burnt the fuck out three of wands in the reverse. And they have some type of lack of foresight. This person has delays. And they also have obstacles here. Yeah, this trickster energy. King of wands, what I tell you? This king of wands is burnt the fuck out and they have lack of foresight. They got delays, they got obstacles and it's because of this trickster energy here. This is a matter who is very believable but it was only in it for their self, this king of wands. I'm saying that you was very queen of cups to this person. You know, queen of cups be queen of cupping, okay? I'm saying that you was very nurturing, compassionate, like yes. And this person gave you the king of swords energy. They was very detached, cruel in their communication. Two of swords constantly tried to confuse you, blind you of the truth. And this is because somebody wanted you to be, you know, basically stuck. 
okay but with the two of wands maybe first somebody is indecisive and they're impatient and it's because this person was cutting corners with you and now there happens to be honest with their self and this is after this person has been being you know closed off four of cups and it's because they missed the opportunity you're like bored with this person's offer now yeah two of pentacles in reverse and it's because this person juggled you Hierophant. And it's like this person could have been married. So not only did this person try to blind you with the truth, but they also tried to blind you with the truth that they was juggling you with somebody that they married here. Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who, you know, knew you worked alone. I'm also saying that you could be this Hierophant Scorpio. You could be a teacher, a god. You could be very traditional. But I'm saying that whatever you do for work, you do this alone, whether you are a teacher or a guide, and you're self-sufficient, independent because of this, yeah, Queen of Swords energy, I'm saying that you're very independent, intellectual, you're unemotional, and it's because of how you perceive things. I'm saying that you could be someone who's, who is like really directly honest with people. It's like you talk to people, okay? Yeah, and with the Two of Wands, you made a decision to move forward. Okay, and with the King of Pentacles, it's like you moving forward from a King of Pentacles, Six of Wands, is how you're getting some type of victory and success here. Five of Wands, because look, yeah, we got a Queen of Pentacles here and a King of Pentacles. So, because of the action you chose, you are the King of Pentacles, Six of Wands. And somebody who could be trying to cause struggles for you in this Five of Wands energy conflict could be this Queen of Pentacles. But this shit is a no-no. And it's because all of this can be done because of your twin flame. So you could be dealing with a Cancer with the Two of Cups here. Something is a no-no for a Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is a, 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 a matriarch. A mother figure. Five of Wands who is basically in disagreement with you and there could be some type of tension six of wands and you could have you know had some type of achievements and you could be in this king of pentacles energy two of wands and it's because of the path that you chose so somebody could put you on the pedestal and somebody could be wanting to compete with you because of that but with the four of cups they missed this opportunity with this cancer four of pentacles for trying to hold this person back Nine of Swords and have an open fight with you. So this is somebody who wanted to have, you know, an open fight with you, a quarrel with you, four of pentacles to the point that they tried to hold you back, four of cups, and they missed the opportunity here. Nine of Cups, somebody could also be wanting to invite you somewhere. This could be a Pisces, Scorpio energy. This, this person that's trying to invite you, this is, a, this is an illusionist here. Okay, this is somebody who's going to make it seem like you have numerous options to choose from. I'm also seeing that you could be bored with someone's offer and you could be wanting to make a love offer possibly to a pisces okay with the knight of cups to the king of cups six of cups this could be somebody from your past three of swords who you could be heartbroken about seven of pentacles who you could be wanting to invest in but with the four of cups you're needing to choose happiness and acceptance ace of wands because you could have took some type of action here or you're needing to act now yeah, I'm saying that you need to act now with the Ace of Wands, Four of Cups in the reverse and choose happiness and acceptance. Seven of Pentacles, because you could be wanting to invest in someone. But with the Three of Swords, you could be heartbroken because of a King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, X, Six of Cups. Nine of Cups, this could be a Pisces, somebody who charmed you. Nine of Cups to the Seven of Cups, this person could have made some type of offer to you and it was like some type of illusion. This is somebody who was tempting you. Okay, there could have also been some type of infidelity in a relationship with someone. This could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Energy, any one of them signs. And you need to choose happiness at this time. Eight of Pentacles and master yourself. Work on yourself for a once because you could be with your twin flame. You literally could be with your twin flame. With the Eight of Pentacles to the Four of Wands, I'm definitely seeing that you could be building a solid foundation here. And that's a big yes. Three of Cups, you could be celebrating. Nine of Cups, because your wish is granted. And you could be being that one with your emotions. And I'm saying that you're, you're being seen as someone's wish fulfillment. 
three of wands in reverse. So whatever somebody was waiting on, it ain't happening. Eight of cups. And this is why they're walking away. It's because they're disappointed. And they're feeling abandoned. This is somebody who's feeling betrayed and dissatisfied. Seven of wands because they're blocked. And this is because you're protecting yourself from whoever this is that's trying to compete with you, challenge you. And this is all because of your confidence here, Scorpio. Five of Pentacles, yeah, you're leaving somebody out in the cold. And they can be wary to the point that they're at desperation here. This is somebody who was your adversity. Okay, Ten of Wands, who's weighed the fuck down. Ace of Cups, because you chose love. Because you listened to your intuition. Nine of Wands, yeah, somebody did not want to give up here. They felt like the fight wasn't over. But I'm saying that you're standing your ground. Four of Swords. So somebody feel like the fight isn't over. But with the Four of Swords, you put something to rest already. Yeah, because something was a big no with a Queen of Wands. So there's a Queen of Wands. That something was a big no for. Four of Swords. You had a Queen of Wands to try to put something to rest for you. Ace of Cups. This could be when it comes to your joy, your fulfillment, your love life. Nine of Wands. And this person was determined. But with the Five of Cups, this person is disappointed now. They're in regret, sadness, six of swords in the reverse. And it's because this person is not able to move forward from whatever it is that they did. Eight of swords in reverse and you're not stuck. So somebody wanted you to be stuck mentally. So somebody wanted you to be so wrapped up in your own mind that you were stuck, that you wasn't going to be able to move forward. But it's them now who's not able to move forward. Why you are, you know, four of swords putting something to rest. I'm saying that you need to stay away from these energies here. You need to protect your energy at this time and stay away from conflict. Three of Pentacles, because there was a group that was working with each other, but it's in the reverse. So this group, they fell apart here. But with the Ace of Swords, you know the truth. So you know the truth about a group that fell apart. And with the Four of Swords, you put something to rest, but at the same time, you need to stay a fuck away from these people. Eight of Wands. And it's because... These people could have once been sending shit towards you to try to block you. But I'm saying that all obstacles, blockages, and challenges has been removed for you, Scorpio. Ten of swords. After somebody was constantly stabbing you in the back. I'm saying that there's nothing else that could be done of this situation. Emperor. And it's because you took back control over your energy, over your power, over your authority, over your moves. Over your energy, period. Seven of Cups in reverse. You're no longer in the illusion. You see clearly. Somebody is not, like, fooling you. Six of Wands. This is why you're getting good news. And it's because even though you had adversity, you still focus on your goals. Two of Swords. I'm saying that you have removed the blindfold when it comes to someone who was gossiping, planning. Okay, Four of Swords. I'm saying that somebody tried to make you feel as though you had a lack of support. They wanted you to feel as though you were having a mental breakdown. That you was feeling out of control. Ten of Pentacles. This could have been a whole group of motherfucker or like a community here of a Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So this Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles could have been family members. Four of Swords who showed you some type of lack of support. And with this Three of Swords, they're heartbroken now. And it's because of some type of separation that you have. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you're receiving some type of equal give and take. You're being supported. Three of Swords. And somebody's heartbroken because you separated from them. Yeah, four of Swords because of some type of lack of support. Because they were trying to break you down mentally. Ten of Pentacles. This could even be your family. And a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. That's the fucking truth. You have clarity. And you know the truth. You are someone who is honest. And with the seven of swords in reverse, you already know about a thief, a liar. And with the five of swords, you already know. You already know about this family, this queen of pentacles, this queen of wands, who was out here lying. You already know about these people competing with you because of a disagreement. You already know about these mind games, people trying to win. It's, it's, it's old to you now. So... <laughs> Yeah, I'm saying that you and your eternal love have good news coming in, okay? And this could be like a miracle to you guys, all right? Yeah, because you could not trust someone. So someone is not of a lion. You cannot trust this person. 
This person is not being honest with you and they're not compatible. Yeah, this is somebody who is wanting you to feel overwhelmed. And it's because you're able to relax. So yeah, this could be a family. So there's a family that's trying to be strategic here. They are pretending and being deceptive. And them doing this is a risk. These people are trying to risk, you know, causing conflict to your, you know, connection. Yeah, but this is all a fucking illusion. So there is an illusion going on. And somebody is wary and confused to the point that they're stressed out because they did magic to try to protest what you do for, for work. And this is all, you know, some type of form of control to try to bind you. This is this person's goal. Yeah, because you could be in a connection here and somebody is wanting to cause conflict. This is the risk that this person is trying to take. And they're being very deceptive, pretending and wearing masks. This person is very strategic. Like I said, this could be a family who see that you're relaxed and they're wanting you to be overwhelmed. These are not people of alliance here. Yeah. Somebody is wanting to apologize because you got far the fuck away from them. So let's see who these people are that is not of alliance. Who is this that's not of alliance? We got a Pisces who you call judgment on, a Sagittarius. Who you're standing your ground towards. A Libra. Who you close out a karmic cycle with. And possibly a Virgo. Who sees that you're self-sufficient and independent. And they're wanting to block you. Yeah, a Virgo. Nine of Pentacles is trying to slow you up. Ten of Pentacles, this could be a family or an in-law. Yeah, but with the Page of Swords, you're finding this out. Yeah, there's somebody... Yeah, somebody's magic going to backfire anyway, okay? <laughs> yeah, Queen of Swords. I'm saying that you're very intellectual. You're very intelligent. And you're letting your strength guide you. You're not being persuaded by lust or by temptation. And this is breaking someone's heart. Ten of Swords, because they did all that they could do to you. Hangman, now they're stuck facing their own towers. Seven of Pentacles. And it's because of what they was investing in. Ace of Swords. And that's the fucking truth. The devil. Somebody wanted to control you. And they was obsessed with it. Yeah, Six of Cups. This could have happened in the past. Or these could be with past people. Yeah, I also have... You didn't know this person. So you didn't even know this person. We got Love Spell is the reason why y'all are... Or they together. Heavy on the magic. Yeah, somebody wants to compete with you. But wants to copy you too. Yeah. They all going to jail. We also have. You've paid all of your karmic debt. You are free. And then I have jail time. They will be set down for a minute. 